Hi, I am Evangelist Lorraine Daly Johnson. Greetings. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Son of the living God. Today I'm talking about self-righteous folks. Self-righteous people are people who believe that they are saved in their own righteousness. But in reality, they are not saved because they are not saved by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Let's go to the Word of God first, and I'll read um, a scripture for you. I'm going to start with Isaiah, the 46th chapter, and the 6th verse. And it says, But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. You see, a lot of people are saved to themselves, but they are not truly saved because they are not living according to the Holy Bible. They are out there doing all kinds of sinful things. They are lying and cheating. They are smoking and drinking. They are doing drugs and drinking alcohol. I mean, these people are doing all type of stuff. And they go to church. A lot of them go to church. And some of them don't go to church. But they believe that they are saved in their own righteousness. But our own righteousness are as filthy rags before the Lord. You see, we must come through the righteousness that's of Jesus Christ. We got to be saved according to the Holy Bible, not according to our own ways. Because your own righteousness is not salvation, and your own righteousness will not get you into heaven. But a lot of people are self-righteous. They're going around saying they saved when they're not. They are threatening and harassing other people. They're doing witchcraft and voodoo and all type of forms of magic that they are practicing. They're idol worshipers. And then they turn right around and say that they are saved. But you are not saved in your own righteousness. You are not saved in your sins. I mean, a lot of these people are full of hate and jealousy and envy. And then they turn around and say they saved anyhow. But that is not salvation by um, saying that you are saved in your wicked and evil ways. I mean, there's a lot of people that are backbiting and, and, and lying on folks and spreading all type of rumors and just deceitful people. And then they say that they are saved. Let's leave and see what the Word of God says. In Romans, the 10th chapter, the third verse, I'll read it for you. It says, For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about, to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. There are a lot of people who are just ignorant to God's righteousness, and they're going around trying to establish their own righteousness. That is sin. Your own righteousness is like filthy rags before the Lord. Your own righteousness would not get you into heaven. You cannot practice sin and say that you are saved and make it to heaven. It's not going to work. Let's see what the Word of God also says in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, and the 34th verse. I read it to you. It says, Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. You know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Going around saying that you are saved and representing Christ in such a negative and evil way. You are not saved if you are out there doing all type of evil and wickedness. And saying that you are saved. Unforgiven hearts. All type of sin, mistreating others, being cruel and harsh to others, using people, being a deceitful person, stealing people ideas and, and, and taking credit for stuff that you did not do, and then say you are saved. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself out there trying to uh, represent Christ with that type of nonsense. 
And people out there on the dance floor doing all type of dirty dances, dancing to filthy music and singing un ungodly music and saying that you are saved. You should be ashamed of yourself. Conceitedness. A lot of people are just full of conceitedness. They're conceited. Thinking they better than people with the big head and going around saying that you are saved through Christ. You should be ashamed of yourself. And cut that out and get saved for real. Get saved for real. Let's see what else the word of God is saying. I'll read it to you, the scripture. 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, the 20th and 21st verses. And it says, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he have made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. You see, we got to be made the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. Salvation is through Jesus Christ. Righteousness is through Jesus Christ. You got to have the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. It's, it's Christ's righteousness. Christ is the one who died for your sins. You did not die for your sins. Instead, Jesus Christ died for the sins of the whole world. Salvation is through him. Righteousness is through Jesus Christ. Living in sin and doing wicked things, practicing all type of sins and saying you are saved is not going to get you into heaven. You know, having evil thoughts and evil inventions. And then got the nerves to say you are saved through Christ. You should really be ashamed of yourself. Selfishness and going around passing judgment on people instead of looking in the mirror at yourself and making sure that you are a righteous person yourself. Get it right. Get it right. Get saved for real. Get saved for real so your soul can spend eternity with God in heaven through Jesus Christ. I read the last scripture to you. It's Luke, the 13th chapter and the 27th verse. And it says, but he shall say, I tell you, I know you not when ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. If you are out there working iniquity, living in sin, lying and cheating, doing drugs and alcohol and, and fighting people and doing all type of evil and wickedness, picking with people, laughing at people, you know, you should be ashamed of yourself. When you stand before the Lord, he's going to tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You cannot work iniquity going around saying how you did such a great work for Christ, knowing good and well that you are sinning. You can't do that and get saved and be saved. He's going to say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. You cannot be saved in your sin. Talking about you did a great work and... So what you can sing good, so what you can preach good, so what you can talk good, that is not going to get you in heaven doing some type of great work. You're going to have to be saved for real. You're going to have to get salvation for real in order to be saved. I am Evangelist Lorraine Daly Johnson. Thanks for watching.